I mean, it's it's amazing, and and it's a it's a kind of axis of of intolerance with deans mm. and fanatical young feminists, and uh, and and the United States government because the Department of Education has sent this directive to all the schools that they have to clamp down on harassers and they and and so forth, and they've defined it so broadly that it includes, you know, if you overhear someone telling an off-color joke, mm -hmm. you can bring them up on charges of harassment. So we have this little reign of terror, this hyper-Puritanism. It's as though, you know, George Orwell's junior anti-sex league has occupied feminism. It's truly Stalinist, absolutely. Now, I take a very extreme view, which is that, it is that um, colleges and universities should never interfere in any way with the social lives of the students. It's up to the students to regulate themselves. If a crime is truly committed, it must go to the police. Right? And so a lot of these problems would stop okay, if, if universities would confine themselves to education and not to the surveillance okay, of, of students' private lives. Now, it might, now, our generation won these freedoms. It, it, it was in local when we arrived in college, yes. right? Uh, parietal hours. Yeah, parietal hours. I, my my girls, young men wouldn't be allowed in your room, <laughs> and then they were if they were there. Well, this was before, right before I got to college, right. but they, you had to have all of your feet on the ground at one time. You, you, you had to look through your door. People well, managed to do things. Well, in, in 1964, when I arrived at, at, in college, uh, in our women's dorm, the, the girls had to sign in at 11 o'clock at night, whereas the men could run free all night long. Okay, so we are the ones who demanded that the, that the, the, that the authority figures get out of our and, sex and lives. And we wanted to be as free and as wild as the boys. Yes, and they said to us, no, the world is dangerous. We need to protect you from rape. And what we said was, give us the freedom to risk rape. Okay, these are the freedoms that we won. And now the younger generation of of girls want the parental figures back in. Okay, it, it, it is deeply Stalinist. It is deeply infantilizing. It is deeply reactionary. It has nothing to do with feminism. This is a couch. retreat.